Hey everybody, Dr. Ray Blue here, and this is my movie review of Zoom, the 2016 film directed by Pedro Morelli, starring Alison Peel, Jason Priestley, and Michael Eklund. The film is about a novelist, a film director, and a comic book artist, all living separate realities that tell each other's story, all in an interwoven multi-dimensional state of being. Emma Boyle, played by Alison Peel, is a comic book artist. Michelle, played by Marion Exemenes, is a novelist. And Edward Deacon, played by Gail Garcia Bernal, is a film director. Part of the film is live action, part animation, and all of it very interesting and centering around the three related stories. The first story follows a comic book artist working in the sex doll shop who is insecure about herself and wants to make herself and her body look more like the image of the dolls she's making. The second story told is that of the comic book she's writing, which is the animated portion of the film. The animation is very much similar to the style that you might have seen in 1980's AHA video for Take On Me. It tells the story of a filmmaker's struggle to complete his movie in the artistic way he wants while also trying to appease his producer who needs the film to be a success, easily consumed by the public in addition to dealing with his sexual inadequacies. The third story is that of the film which he is making. That follows an aspiring writer who is also a model struggling to prove she's not just good looking but also a talented author. All come together in a fantastical world that slowly unfolds to an interesting and not too predictable narrative. Without giving away the ending, the film interweaves the three stories and ultimately explains how each one is affecting the others. Zoom is a unique and fascinating way of telling these stories in a way that it's not your typical linear fashion and with an outcome that sews them together in a satisfying conclusion. I really enjoy the style and design of the movie, very much a movie of layers and depth that is imaginative and fun to watch. Like Dreams Within Dreams, the fourth wall isn't broken so much, but the film itself is not what it seems and has multiple levels of consciousness and perception being explored. I feel the story itself could have been a bit more intellectual by design, but the film's erotic tone is definitely interesting and provides the film a fairly unique approach. The film's soundtrack by Kid Koala is also good, and provides a good background to the film's visual style and bizarre style of storytelling. The characters in the film are a little shallow, however the film's direction and narrative of the three different stories leaves you curious enough to stay with it in order to figure out how they all connect. In many ways, the surreal feel of all the characters pays off and without an absurd or utterly predictable conclusion. All the actors do a pretty good job, including Jason Priestley, whom hasn't been in anything really memorable since the days of 90210. I enjoyed Michael Eklund's character, who is a sleazy customer purchasing a sex doll in the image of his ex-wife who has left him for another man. His performance adds a comic relief to the film, as well as being a creepy and interesting performance. I really liked his work in other films like The Divide, which is something to check out as well. The last 30 minutes of the film really picks up the pace and is quite clever, and pulls you into the story with a uniquely layered conclusion. And while the film is perhaps more style over substance, it really is an entertaining and unique experience. Not a film for everyone, that's for sure, and perhaps more of an art house crowds type of film, but I would definitely recommend it to anyone looking for a mature and yet artistic film with a good addition of humor and psychedelic twist. I bought this on demand, and it was well worth the $6.99. Better deal than you might get at some movies and what you pay at the theater. Thank you for watching. Please comment below with your thoughts. Don't forget to subscribe, tell your friends, and help spread the madness.